So hey everyone, you guys are smart. You had the title of the video, you know what this is about. Now I had a hard time trying to figure out how to install Keyframe Caddy in Flash CS6. So today I'm going to show you guys how I installed the extension. This technique will require the Adobe Extension Manager for CS6, 7-zip File Manager, and at least some sort of text editing software. First things first, we're going to download the programs we need. If you first, we need Adobe Extension Manager and for the CS6. It'll be down here, there'll be a link in the description for all these files. Press the CS6, download it. Once the file downloads, extract the file, run the setup. Now, I don't know what that is, I'm going to ignore it. If you get the same thing, just ignore. And we should now have Adobe Extension Manager for CS6. Please ignore that keyframe caddy has already been installed, it's because I already went through this process. Next for 7-zip, we're going to download the file. Installation should be pretty quick. And now we should have 7-zip file manager. If that didn't work, I'm sure you can find a bunch of other tutorials online explaining how to install that. Next we go to the keyframe caddy website and we scroll down. Now it says right here that you should be using 1.21, but in fact, for this particular point, you should be using the legacy version 1.1.1. So we're going to download that. Now, on the Adobe Extension Manager from CS6, we hit Tools, Convert MXP Extension to ZXP, I'm getting a mouthful here, and locate the Keyframe Caddy Legacy Version file that we just downloaded. Now, once we look, once we've selected the file, it'll open up a new place and ask where we want to save it. Now, this is saving as another file as we are converting it to a new place. So I'm going to put it in my uh, Documents folder. All right, just for disambiguation. Now, we have made a separate version of the file, which is under new file format. From there, we will hit install. We will select the new file we made, which is the ZXP file. Now, it'll say it requires a flash version to range inclusive between 9 and 11.5. Now, I showed you this because the next step is important, and this is where 7-zip file manager comes in. So in my downloads folder, I have the new ZXP file of keyframe caddy. I'll take that and in 7-zip hit open archive. Now from here, we'll right click on the file and hit edit. Now we also have a text editor pops up and this max version right here, right here where it says 11.5, we're going to change this to 12. We will hit save, close, yes, I mean okay. Now we close this again. Now when we press up, when we hit install, in documents, we will save the same file, open, and we will hit accept on whatever settings you wish. Now we want to launch Flash, the extension should be there, but unfortunately you will not see it in your extensions, but you will see it in other panels under Keyframe Caddy. Now Keyframe Caddy has officially been installed. I hope you guys found this useful. I hope you liked the fact that my microphone didn't sound like a pickle, and I hope you liked the fact that I did not have an obnoxious intro. Don't bother subscribing, because all I do is upload memes here. Bye.